Hi! In the last video, we learned how to make our ship move up, left, to the right, and down using our move function here. And the, di the move dial. And you could also adjust the speed at which it goes with this dial here. Okay? So, um, I think we had it at about, for the speed, 150 or so. Just do that. Okay. Now what we want to do is we want it to move when we say to move. Because last time when we hit our preview button, it automatically started to move and without our control. We would just hit the play and when the game started, the ship was moving in the direction with the move command. But now we want some interactivity. Now, the way we do that is by building pro program and series of instructions. Okay, that's basically what a computer program is. It's a series of instructions that tells a computer what to do. So in this case, we're going to add a rule. So there are two ways of adding rules. One is by coming and hitting the plus sign here and adding a rule this way. There's your rule box. The second way to do that is go to your block section down here, and you can drag and drop the rule into that area. And again, we want to create a rule for the ship and you know that always be aware of where you are when you're dragging things in and so um, anyway we've got two of these guys here we don't really need both of them this is just for demo purposes so I'm gonna just click on that notice it's selected and then I'm gonna hit the delete key and it's gone okay the other thing I want to show you with uh, with these windows blocks that we bring in here you can minimize those by hitting the this arrow or maximize it it gives you some more real estate. So you see I kind of minimize those right there. And you can also turn them on or off. Now if you turn them off then the program totally ignores those sets of instructions. That comes in really handy as your programming um, gets a little, you know, much more complex. Okay. So um, anyway, so we've got, they're turned on. And so the first thing we want to do is we want to create a rule that says when all of the following is happening. All the following what? Well, the idea here, we want to create a rule such that when we want a condition to bring in, when we hit the keyboard in a certain way, then we want the ship to move. Okay, so I'm going to drag the key condition in here. When, as soon as I drop it in there, it asks me for a couple of things here. It says, okay, receives a key press. So if you click right in here, it says, well, what key press? Well, I'm just going to go ahead and click on the left arrow key here. And see, when I do that, it automatically puts the, the, the word left in there. So it says when that left arrow key basically is down, it wants, what should we do? What do we want the program to do? So in this case, this is the do arrow. What do we want it to do? We want it to do the movement here. Okay? So let's just drag this in there under the do section and drop it there. Okay? Now, but when we move it to the left, we don't want it to go 270. Remember, we ended off 270. We can see the dial is going down. So we want it to go not 270, but 180, since that makes it go to the left, right? Okay. All right. Now let's test that out, see how we're, how we're doing on our program. So if I click on our preview button here, and I hit my left arrow key, Every time I click, 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 it goes to the left. Okay? And so if I hit to the right, it's not going to do anything. All right? And we don't, we'll fix it later. It really shouldn't go off the screen, right? So because in Space Invaders, it stays within the boundaries. All right, let's go back to our editor here. Let's make some additional changes. Okay, so what we want to do is we want to copy this block of code here. So instead of having to do this all over again, I mean, bringing in the rule, bringing the move, I mean, we know we have this for the left. We want to get this also identical, but for the right. So we click on the right arrow key, and then we're going to want the ship to move to the right. And then we'll have our programming for the ship almost there. Okay, so in order to copy this block, I'm just going to, to make it easier, I'm just going to minimize that. Notice it's still there. All that stuff is still there. I'm just minimizing it to make it easier to copy. I think I'm going to, I'm going to hold the Alt uh, option. I'm, I have a Mac here, so I don't know. It might be Control or uh, Control on a PC. Uh, now, if you drag it down and let go, notice it made a complete copy 
of what I had up here. So I'm going to maximize so you can kind of see the two. So it's left and left. So now for the second one, I'm going to delete the right and I'm going to move, um, click on my right arrow key there and it automatically puts right in there. And then I'm going to put, make, change the direction instead of 180. Remember 180 was to the left and zero is to the right. Okay, and you notice the dial is on the right there, and the dial is on the left there. Okay, and basically that should do it. Let's take a quick look at the program. Let me hit the preview play button. And if I go to the right, you know, every time I press my right arrow, and if I hold it down, it's consistent. If I tap, 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 it goes that way. If I hold it down, it's consistent. Okay, now. In the next couple of videos, we'll show you how to um, do some boundaries here. Okay, but that's basically how you work on movement um, with the actor here. Let me go back to the editor. Uh, while we're here, let's work on adjusting the size. So if I click on the size of the actor here, it's 120. I'm going to bring it down to maybe... I don't know, let's try um, 90 and 90. Okay. So I'm going to delete that instance of it and bring in a new shift that'll be just slightly. You see the size change now. Okay, and then if I preview that, see it's just about the right size there, but you can play around with the size if you want. Now we got our ship moving with and program to our left and right arrow keys. Okay, great. We'll see you in the next video.